Hey there! Is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community, and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So, no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So, welcome to church. Church of God in Christ, where the pastors are Pastor Dr. Willie Loggins and First Lady Angie Loggins. We're sending you an invitation, a personal invitation, to join us for our live worship services every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can view our live services on Facebook Live from Lady Angie Loggins' page. You can search her name, or sometimes we'll stream from House of Prayer Outreach Church of God in Christ Facebook page. And we also stream live on YouTube. So we're inviting you. Again, you have a personal invitation to join our services for a power. There will be a power packed, inspirational, inspirational, motivational word straight from heaven every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. We welcome you as the Lord leads you to join us. We welcome you as the Lord leads you to send us a, a love token, an offering. The Lord says, bring to the storehouse. Bring your tithes and offering to the storehouse. As the Lord leads, you can mail offerings to 6301 West St. Joseph Highway, Lansing, Michigan, 48917. Or you can send cash app to dollar sign A-N-G-L-O-G, dollar sign A-N-G-L-O-G. Or search on the Givelify app. You can search for our church name. Again, you have a personal invitation, and we want you to accept the invitation and join us for worship service every Sunday morning live. God bless you. Come on, everybody, get your feet happy. Let's go. Come on.
Welcome to the House of Prayer Outreach Church, streaming live, YouTube, Zoom. This is Pastor Willie Larkin, uh, the senior pastor of the House of Prayer Outreach Church. We thank, we thank God, thank the Lord that you join us on this morning uh, to be a part of this ministry. And we just, and those that are online and those that will be on during our message on the day, I appreciate it and I give God all the honor and I give him all the glory. Father, we're going to pray, then we're going to go right into the message. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for those that joined us along with us this morning. Father, I give you the honor and I give you the glory and I give you the praise, Lord. Lord, you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Lord, you El Shaddai, you more than enough. You Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider. You Jehovah Nissi, you are victory and banner. You Jehovah Reha, you are healer and deliverer. In the time of this of COVID-19, we need you, Lord. We need your healing. We need your, your guiding, Father. Father, we pray for every uh, responder, Lord, our uh, physician, Lord, our scientists, our doctors, our nurses, everyone that in the healthcare field, Lord. Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that you anoint them with your wisdom, Father, and protect them as we as they protect them and watch it over our life and watch over their family, Lord, while they are away, Lord. Lord, they are serving to our community, Lord. They are serving to our nation, Lord. Father, we pray for our leader, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, the president, give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Lord. Lord, let him hear from you, Father. And every leader, Lord, pastor, bishop, mish, missionary, first ladies, and all the saints of God, the body of Christ, regardless of church affiliation, church denomination, we need to come together as one body in Jesus' name. Unite your people, Lord. Lord, I pray that the leader, the, the saints, the men of God will come out and speak up concerning our nation. We hear from everybody, but we're not hearing from God. In the name of Jesus, our message should be to the people that God is with us. He never leaves us. He not. He God is gonna protect us in this in this uh, COVID nineteen. In the name of Jesus, I trust. I believe because the word said, "Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding." Father, you said, "In all thy ways acknowledge you, and you shall direct our path." Father, any time in our nation, any time in our world, we need direction and we give you the glory we give you the praise in jesus name amen and amen praise god hallelujah thank you and we welcome you right now to the house of prayer again for those that coming in and those that's online we welcome you as a, it's an honor and a privilege to have you present it's an honor and a privilege that you decide to take out your busy schedule to listen to this message as I decrease, God, I pray that you increase. And the message is all about him. Jesus, praise God. Again, my name is Pastor Logan from the House of Prayer Outreach Church. Uh, I'm going to bring be the message for the day. And as, as for you, those that have your Bible, let's turn to 2 Kings. 2 Kings, 20 chapter, 1 through 11 verse. I'm going to be reading out of the Messenger Bible, praise God. Again, 2 Kings 21 through 11, as I read. He said, praise God. He says, sometime later, Hezekiah became deadly sick. The prophet Isaiah, the son of Emma, said uh, unto him, hallelujah. Then he visited him and said, put your affair in order. You are about to die. You have, a, you have not long to live. Hezekiah turned from Isaiah and faced God, praying, Remember, O God, who I am, what I have done. I live an earnest life before you. My heart, praise God, has been truly and steadily. I have lived to please you, live for your approval. Praise God. In this case, uh, uh, Hezekiah will testify to God about who he is, how he had, how he has served him, and, and he, now he's dealing with a sickness. And if you read on, if you have studied, 
They don't know what type of sickness that actually what he was dealing with, but we know that he was very sick. He said, remember, he said, remember, O oh God, who I am, what I have done. I live an honest life before you. Ah, my heart been true and steady. I have lived to please you, live for your approval. Hallelujah. And then the tears flow. Hezekiah wept. Uh, chapter uh, of Second King, chapter twenty-four to sixteen, verse said, Isaiah, uh, leaving was not was not halfway across the court when the word of God stopped him. This was a prophet. The word of God stopped him. Go back and tell Hezekiah, uh, prince of my people, God worry Hezekiah from from the God of your ancestor, David. I have listened to your prayers. I have observed your tears. God, hear our prayers. Praise God. He knows our tears. Praise God. I had just at 15. Look what he said. Hallelujah. In three days, you will walk on you will walk on your own leg into the temple of God. Even that we dealing with this COVID-19, many people have lost their life. Many people is sick. Praise God. But one time, one day, we're going to be able to walk into our churches, praising God, what God had done. Hallelujah. God had removed this sickness among us. Now look what he says here. In the, he said in the sixth verse, in, he said, in three days, you will walk on your own leg into the temple of God. I just add 15 years. Look, God had add 15 years to Hezekiah. He was on the edge of death. God had add 15 years to his life. And look what he said in the seventh verse. Isaiah then said, prepare a pot of feed. Man, wait, get ready to eat. They prepared the pot and apply it to the board. And Hezekiah was on his way to recovery. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hezekiah said to Isaiah, how do I know whether this is of God and not just a fig plaster? What confirming sign of that that God healed me? He said that in three days I will walk into the temple of God on my own leg. Praise God. The ninth verse said, this will be your sign from God, said Isaiah, that God is doing what he said he would do. Do you want the shadow to advance 10 degrees on the sundial or go back 10 degrees? You choose. Hezekiah said, I would, I would, and it would be easy to make the sun shadow advance 10 degrees. Make it go back 10 degrees. In the 11th verse in that chapter of, of a King, 2 King 20 said, So Isaiah called out the prayers of God. And the shadow went 10 degrees on as a sundown. God is really calling the intercessors. God is really calling the prayer warrior and people that pray to make a difference. We as uh, leaders, we as uh, leaders, pastors and lay persons, we got to start praying. We got to set the tone for this world. I know we hear lots of stuff that's going on. We hear it on, on the news, or local news or whatever. But we got to, God got to hear from his people, his saints. That means everyone that believe, that believe in his son Jesus. God want to hear for us. Praise God. And knowing that God can hear Hezekiah, he can hear us. Praise God. Like I said, 2 Kings 20, 1 and 11. My subject today, set your house in order. I repeat. Set your house in order. It's time for us to set our house in order. Start in our own home. Start in our, start in our leadership, in our leaders. Hallelujah. But initially, he's telling the people of God, set your house in order. Pray God. We look at the word set means to put in a certain place or position or a cause. I'm going to read. You just read. I read through the, uh, the message of the Bible. But I'm going to give you a little brief history of Solomon, I mean Hezekiah, a brief history. Now look what he said. A uh, king Hezekiah, he trusts in the Lord. Hezekiah claimed to the Lord. He did not depart from following him. He kept his commandment, uh, which the Lord had commissioned Moses. Wherever, hallelujah, king Hezekiah went, the Lord prospered him. 
Hallelujah. God was watching out for Hezekiah. And in the first year of his reign, in the first month, he prepared a door of the house of the Lord and repaired them. Praise God. Hezekiah brought in priests. Look what he said. Levi's. Uh, gather them in the square on the east. Hezekiah gave them priests and prophets. He said to concentrate yourself. Concentrate yourself. Also concentrate the house of God. Praise God. I know we're not in our church physically, but we can consecrate ourselves in our own home. Praise God in the name of Jesus. We can concentrate. We may be shut out, but we're not, we not shut in. Praise God. The word of God got to go forth. Hallelujah. People want to hear our voice, men and women, boys and girls, the saints, the intercessors, the prayer warrior, everyone that can get a prayer through. The people want to hear the saints. Hallelujah. What God can do. Hallelujah. Then Hezekiah was 25 years old when he became Judah 13 king and Israel was divided after Solomon. Israel, it was in, they was in division. After Solomon had passed, they were divided. Look at today. Our country is divided. Different people saying different things. People saying this and people saying, you, you really don't know what to believe. But I can tell you one thing you can believe and you can bank on it. You can believe the word of God. And that's what really necessary in our society today. Praise God. Now, now with that background in your mind, let's look at what we deal with on today. He said, let's look at the dilemma of King Hezekiah and his disease. Nobody know what type of disease Hezekiah, even this day, nobody know what kind of disease. We know that he was sick. Some people say he had cancer, but really it doesn't say anything about what particular illness that Hezekiah had. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know that he had a, a fall. He know he did have a severe sore, uh, a deep wound, but still the disease was not identified. Even today, if you follow and you search it out, if you follow and search out, find out, but it doesn't say what type of disease he had. Hezekiah had the best doctor. Look what it says here. He had the best medicine of that day. Money was not an issue. Hezekiah was near death. Like today, you know, we can have the best doctor. We can have the best physician. And we can have money in, our, in, in the bank. But this COVID-19 don't discriminate. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even anyone, everyone can be affected. That's why it's so good to continue the the distance. Continue to wear the mask. Continue to wear the glove. Protect your family. Hallelujah. And protect other family when you are out in the public. Praise God. Let's listen to our leaders in the government. Praise God. Don't be so quick to go back doing our normally thing. Praise God. I know the governors and the different mayors are saying this, open up, but we got to be careful. You got to look, look out for your family. Even though the people may lock, uh, open up restaurants, they may open up clothes, hair, places, and all that stuff we have, I normally do. But you got to look at yourself and say, hey, I'm going to take care of myself, and I'm going to take care of my family, and I'm going to take care of other people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look, anyway, so Hezekiah had, he had the best doctors. Hezekiah was, was near or 40 years old when he got sick. Hallelujah. And, he didn't, and the prophet told him he going to die. Hezekiah was a God. Look at this. Hezekiah was a God fearing man. He was he was a good king. He got sick and was near death. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our leaders, our pastors, bishops, uh, is is passing. Now, this virus don't discriminate. So you can be in God. You can have everything, but we are being affected of our disease. I'm gonna make this clear before I go any further. God did not bring the disease on us. He allowed it. I'm going to say it again. God did not bring this disease, COVID-19, on. He allowed it because our sin. And look what it says in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. He said, if my people, who are his people? We that are called by his name shall humble ourselves and pray, seek his faith, and turn, turn. For my wicked ways, hallelujah, it's saying that we got some wicked ways in the church and out of the church. 
We got some weak. Then he says, we, he will hear our prayers. If we repent, he will heal the land. Our nation, our churches, our home need healing. Personal life need healing. Repent and be saved. Praise God. Now look what it says. Let's move forward for today about COVID-19 virus. This is time for the saints to get their house in order. He says, Pastor, how can I get my house in order? I'm glad you asked me. You can get your house, number one, pray, fast, read your word, say the prayer, the normal prayer. Know the prayer that we normally pray. If you don't know how to pray, it say, I'm, my Father, our Father, which are in heaven. That's a prayer that most everybody know. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that's in uh, Matthew 6, chapter. Our Father, which are in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtor. Leave us not, not into temptation. Excuse me. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, okay, let's start out in our home. At first start in our home. Get our uh in our home. Get our home together. Get our sons and daughters uh, uh, together and pray. Do something that you normally didn't have been doing. You've been going to the church, you've been listening to the pastor, whoever teaching, whoever, you've been listening to him. But have you developed a prayer life in your own home? Hallelujah. And God, church, it's, it's all about family. If the family is messed up, the church is messed up. Praise God. We got to start individually and locally. And it starts it start with our home, then it starts with our churches and all in our government. It's time that the saints, the church, hallelujah, hallelujah, where we are called to get our local building when we are called to open our local building, that we be prepared for a different, a different, a different, I'm going to say it again. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the same. Everything is different. But the main thing that when we do go back in, how we, how we organize this, well, we got to know, we got to put God for it. Normally time we come in a church, we do our, go through our little ro routine. We come in and pray. We do, we do. Uh, we do singing, and we do different stuff. We we do announcement. We take up offering, but it, that that gonna change. It's a it's for the leader to set up a new thing for their particular church. It gonna change. So the first thing we should do when we go to the house of God is give Him the glory, the Word of God. Thirty less than thirty to forty minutes, and pray, and we out of there. So the thing not gonna be normal. We be in church for two and three, sometimes four hours, but God want to be the the main focus when we go back into our house of prayer. Praise God. Let's keep, let's continue going. And it says, through, uh, praise God, it's time for pastors, pastors, bishop, whatever position that you hold, it's time for pastors, intercessors, prayer warrior, to pray for our leaders, locally, naturally, and worldly. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> that our scientists, our physicians, praise God, our doctors, uh, collectively uh, create a vaccine, COVID-19, a cure for that, praise God. The power of prayer, look what it said, the power, when we start praying, he said, and if you if you don't know the scriptures, seven, uh, Second Chronicles 7, 14, he says, my people, the power of prayer healed Hezekiah, that terminal ism before his death in, in King 20, 2 King 20, he healed us, and he also can heal us from this COVID-19 virus. Praise God. The Lord sent Isaiah, the prophet, hallelujah. He sent him to talk to Hezekiah, saying, get your house in order. Hallelujah. Hezekiah, did you read me read it? Hezekiah was near death. Look what it said. Then Hezekiah immediately, look what it said. When God, when you get a word from God, a, a word from his prophet, a word from his leaders, look what it said. When Hezekiah immediately received 
the bad news. Look what it said. When we received bad news, look what Hezekiah did. He turned his face to the wall. Think about it. He turned his face to the wall. He didn't look at you. He didn't look at me. He, he, dis, he actually dismissed the people if there was anybody in the, in, in, in the church. He dismissed himself. He turned himself to the wall. He wasn't distracted. So when God want to get our attention, we got to not, we got not, we will, we should not have people distracting us. Tell them to do this. But we got to immediately turn our face to the wall. Look what Hezekiah did. He immediately turned his face to the wall. Praise God. Then look what he said. Then, and the prophet began to pray to the Lord. Look at it. Not only he turned his, his way from the people, he turned his way from the prophet. <laughs> and he began to pray himself. God hears your prayer. It's good to have somebody to pray for you. It's good to have somebody to uh, stand in, eat and see it for you. But even better, if you pray for yourself. God hears your prayer. Hallelujah. In the prayer, they hear the, for the unbelieving, hear the prayer of forgiveness. If you want God re repent and say, Lord, I'm yours. I need you. And look, remember, he said, then immediately, hallelujah, hallelujah, Hezekiah, he started, look what it said. Now, sometimes when you're going through some stuff, God knows, but sometimes you got to testify of the Lord, how you serve him. And that was, I believe that was Hezekiah. He testified. He reminded the Lord three facts. I am a faithful, I am a faithful believer. I am Lord. I'm wholly devoted to the Lord and his word. I am holy, righteous before him. God knows when God knows when serious illness strike us or trials confront us, when we pray or cry out to him, he will answer our prayers. I repeat, he will answer our prayers. Uh, he did it for Hezekiah. He would do it for us. God heard Hezekiah prayer and he and his brokenness. And God healed him. Praise God. Not only did God healed Hezekiah, but he had 15 years. 15 years to his life. Even though we're dealing with this COVID-19, we're about in it, about dead. But look what he says. Hallelujah. He gave him 15 years. You may be in the hospital. Or you know someone else in the hospital they're affected by this COVID-19. Hallelujah. On a ventilator. But God can heal them and they can walk out of that place. And God will add a life to him or her. Hallelujah. 15 years. God can hear your prayer when you sincerely seek him and get and we get our house in order. That's me now. Get your house in order. Whatever it takes. Fathers, step up to the plate. Hallelujah. Mothers, be oh, a good example. Hallelujah. Calling for men to come out of the closet and pray. Uh, take our, our respective place in our home, in our community. Praise God. Hallelujah. In our state, in our nation. It's time out not to be hide, hit, hiding back the background. Praise God. It's up to step up and praise God and get our house in order. Look at it in the verse of in Matthew 7 and 7. He said, Ask and he shall be given you. Seek and he shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. Ask, ask it and you receive it. Seek it and you will find it. Knock it and the door will be open. Whatever you seek, whatever you ask, God will open the door for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at Mark 11 and 24. Therefore I say unto you, what thing soever he desire, when he pray, believe that he receive them and he shall have them. Well, we pray. We got to have a measure of faith. Praise God. Faith. He says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, ever than of things not seen. And also it's impossible to please God. Holler without faith. So we got to have faith to believe when we pray. Now let's go to Mark 11 and 25. He said, when you stand praying, forgive. Wow, that's a good one. 
When you start praying, forgive. Praise God. You start praying for guilt. That when you forgive an individual, you got to let it heal. Lots of times we carry a lots of unforgiveness in our heart towards individuals or, or family member or mom, dad, or whatever, co-worker, or neighbor. We got to learn how to forgive. When we forgive, look what it takes. Either it let it heal. You know, it takes sometimes it takes time. You know, it sometimes it takes time. But God will heal our heart. Then you got to let it go. You can't just drag it from 10, 15, 20 years. Oh, sometimes people take it to their grave. Unforgiveness. Praise God. But you got to let it go. Then when you let it go, let us forgive. God is a forgiving God. He has forgiven us for our sins, so why we can't forgive each other? Okay, now Mark 11 and 25. And we he stand praying, forgive, if he have ought against anyone. Anyone. You know the, the person that you haven't forgave yet. When they come around you, you feel you feel uh you feel you feel out of place. You know, I can tell when people forgive uh an individual or for, I use myself. When, if some I never care if somebody forgive me, because I can go around that person. Ah, uh, and you know, and feel comfortable. But when you can tell a person have a you when they see you coming, they they ducking and dodging. They they, or either they don't have too much to say. But forgiveness, when you forgive, you don't, you don't you free yourself up. Hallelujah! I can go. I know people may have some again, but I can still can go around and smile in their face because I know whatever I had done, I had went to them and 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 uh and you know acts. Because he said in Galatians 6 and 1, he's that brethren. He's that brother. We got to go to that individual and that person in, in, in wisdom. Hallelujah. In prayer. Praise God. Now look what he said. And when you stand praying, forgive. And if he have ought against anyone, I mean anyone, that may be your father, your mother, whoever, which uh, we got to forgive them. Hallelujah. For their transgression. Praise God. In verse 6, 26 in Mark. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which are in heaven, forgive your transgression. Praise God. Praise God. And today, like I said, it's time for us uh, to set our house in order. It's time for us to do the thing necessary for ourselves and also for our nation. It's time for us personally to set our house in order. It's time for the, in our state to set our, them, our leaders to set and our president. It's time for him to listen. It's time for him to listen to the science, the, the physician, the doctors that's telling us what to do. It's not about everybody want to go back to work. Everybody's hurting. But if it's worth of your life or people's life, hallelujah. Ah, uh, we worry about the economy. Praise God. We worry about our big bank account. Hallelujah. But you got to go and help people that don't have a job before this came, to, didn't have a job before the COVID-19. But we got to go into our local, we got to go into our, in our home. Praise God. We got to go into our community, help people. Praise God. And especially help our youth. Now they're having some coming on our youth. We got to pray for our youth. We got to protect our children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We got to protect them and cover them with the blood. And that's what Hezekiah did back in, in, in 2 Kings 20, 1 through 11. He, he set his house in order. When he, saw, when he set his house in order and he turned and prayed to the wall, God extended 15 years to his life. And God can extend your life, even if you have been uh, a positive in this virus or you have been in the hospital, God can heal you. I want to tell you that God can heal you. And not only can heal you, but he can add years to your life. Praise God. Glory to God. Okay, in closing, praise God. If anyone, praise God, anyone that want their house to be set in order, anyone, Hallelujah. 
Uh, now, I want you to repeat this scripture. It's coming out of Romans 10, 9 and 10. Roman, I'm going to give you a little time. If you don't, just write it down. You can read it afterward when we get off this air. According to Romans 10, 9 and 10, he said that if you shall confess, no, uh, repeat that with me, praise God. He said that if you shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. And look at that 10th verse. He said, For with the heart man believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Now look at this in that verse uh, 13. Praise God. Romans 9 and 13. He said, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord. Whoso for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. This opportunity for you begin to set your house in order. Praise God. Whatever you may be living in an apartment. You may not you may be living you may be on a battlefield. You may be especially our soldiers. I ain't forgot uh, our soldiers and our national guard Hallelujah. They they protecting our nation, but now they protecting our home and they partic participate in this COVID virus. Praise God. We got to pray for our police department. Praise God. We got to pray for our, our servicemen. It, number one, we got to pray for ourselves that we quit doing stupid stuff. We as people got to come together. It's no time to be killing each other. No kind of be Stuff that going on, and, you know, this hatred, this racism. It's time for us to get it right. Hallelujah. It's time for us, black, white, purple, green, purple, whatever, whatever nation, whatever denomination or whatever. It's time for us, the church got to set the tone for the world. We got to have a different attitude. And a lot of things we don't agree. We may disagree or agree, whatever. But in, in the end, we got to come together as a nation. Praise God. And also, he said, for, look what he said. He said, for with the heart man believe it unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So this is opportunity to ask the Lord, that, Lord, I'm, 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 I'm a sinner. I need Jesus. And you all you got to say, Lord, save me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord Savior today. Uh, it doesn't matter what you did in the past. Uh, I don't care what you did 10, 20, 30 years ago. But now you can be set free. Hallelujah. You can be delivered. And when God sets you free, we are free indeed. I don't care what nobody else will say about you or what you did or what you didn't do. But if you accept Jesus Christ, you are a new creation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. If you said that prayer, you are new. And you can begin today to set your house in order. Praise God. You can man up. You can man up. You can woman up. And say, from this day forward, personally, I'm going to get my life. I'm going to receive Christ then I'm going to work trying to get my house in order. Praise God. Stop being selfish. Stop walking, stop walking in pride. But God wants us to walk in humility, to listen uh, when people give you instruction. Men and women, especially in the house of prayer, outreach, church of God, children, listen to your pastor. Listen to the people. Everyone, listen to your leaders that that really thinking about you, hallelujah, and what God can do for you. Hallelujah. It's time out to be distracted. We are distracted so much. It's time out to get our life, set our house in order. I thank you all for joining in with me on this day. Praise God. I thank you. Praise God. Uh, like I said, this is House in Prayer. If you want to give you can look on the screen and tell how you can give in our ministry. You can do an app or you can do 
Gibbify, praise God. And it'd be nice to you so called. We do a lot of things at the house of prayer. We are feeding the people, we are feeding students, we are feeding kids uh, five days a week, praise God, serving young people lunches and joining in with another local church here in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, praise God. So we are doing things and we believe in helping people because we remember we just a servant. It doesn't make you what you is, it, uh, what you, what, what uh, talent you may have, but we are serving. We first are servant. He said the one that that is is the most just serve. Hallelujah. If I'm a pastor, I should be out serving. People should be seeing me serving people. Not sitting in that poor pit with this mic in my hand. It should be seeing me giving, should be seeing me helping the community. And that's what we need. The church needs to start setting up food bank. Help out. With people in your neighborhood, you know, kids in your neighborhood, they don't have, you know, they don't have the basis, you know, give, get out and help people and God will help us. So I thank you on, on, on this, uh, this morning joining me, like I said, and I'm going to end this in prayer. Praise God. Praise God. Look what it said. Again, uh, subject today, set your house in order. And that's coming out of 1 Kings 20, 1 through 11. Set your house in order. Hallelujah. Set your house in order. It was talking about King Hezekiah when the prophet came to him and said, Hey, hey, you're going to die. Praise God. And But he went to God and prayed. And God saved his life. And God healed and added 15 years. So, Praise God. We thank you for joining us. And uh, I'm going to pray that we're going to end this uh, this telecast. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, help us, Lord, to set our house in order. Lord, whatever instruction that you give us, Lord, through your word, through your prophet, through your leaders, pastors, leaders, teachers, hallelujah, let us set our house in order. It's time to be real. It's time out for playing church. It's time out for being Double-minded, it's time to make a decision for yourself and your family. So he said, Al, for me and my house, this was Joshua, ah, ah, we will serve the Lord. And that's a confirmation. Hallelujah. That, that should be a dedication to you, that for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I thank you for joining us, and I appreciate you. Continue to pray for our ministry as we continue to pray for our nation locally and everything. And we thank you right now. God bless you. Come on, Mark.